to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do the right thing and you subscribe <laughs> my name is Masako Praise but I go by Messi so on today's video I'll be telling you guys about my journey with study your higher institution studying during my PGC a lot of you guys don't know this because I never shared this <laughs> um, last year because I was keeping it to myself um, only my close friends knew about that journey not really that journey like the fact that I was doing PGC in study last year <laughs> basically um, so this video the reason why I'm doing this is because of when I started I had a lot of questions especially because of it's a private institution and study a cost a lot of money and i had a lot of questions which i wish somebody could answer but i didn't have that so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna answer that questions for you guys um i have a few lists i have a list that i personally um want to share and i feel like it's important information to share that i've learned throughout my journey and i'm also gonna tell you guys how well my journey is and tell you guys the tips of surviving study because you need it <laughs> trust me <laughs> you need it <laughs> um but if you have more questions please comment down below and answer all your questions i feel like i'm forgetting something i wanted to start with you know what i'll get into it the first thing i want to answer is the formation how was study your high institution started so how did you high institution oh. Study your higher institution is actually um, an institution that came to South Africa and bought a lot of um, small colleges that were already accredited by higher institution. Not higher institution, what, who, who accredited them? Higher, yeah, it's higher education. So there were those small colleges who had already been accredited, meaning that the certificate they provided was legit and they allowed them to work. So to avoid registering for accreditation study or board those colleges and now operate using their accreditation so a lot of people have that question of is it accredited yes it's very much accredited for pgce study or it's fully fully um registered you can get a job with the qualification so you're not wasting money <coughs> Okay, I need to add, think about wasting money. I'm gonna add something at the end regarding if I forget, please comment down below that you forgot to tell us that part about wasting money, right? Hopefully I don't forget. Um yeah, that's also answered my second question is how did they get their creation? Is they got it by by using um they got it by buying small colleges, right? The third question that I want to answer is what is PGC? PGC is postgraduate certificate in education so if you have a qualification whether degree or diploma you do this one-year qualification called PGCE then you become a qualified teacher yes I'm a qualified teacher of a profession well I'm not using the degree right now but it's great to know that I have the qualification and I'm grateful for the knowledge but that's another story for another day um, so the reason of why I option for PGC is because at the time I only had a diploma Usually when you go to universities, public universities, they don't take you to do PGC with a diploma, they need a degree. So Stadio was the one institution that allowed me to do my PGC with just a diploma, right? So that's why most people go there. The second thing is you need to be of the requirements. So <clears throat> with the high institution, uh, not high institution, I forgot the word, the people that accredit universities and colleges to teach and say if their qualification is legit i'm gonna put the word but i know it <laughs> you guys trust me i know it. i just forgot the name um what they do with regards to pgce they need you to at least have studied that subject up to second level so for example i did a diploma in accountancy and i did accounting from first year till third year right so they created me to teach accounting and to also teach ems because ems is a component of accounting and all my commerce subjects in it so you need to have it at least until second level second year i wanted to add maths to my pgce but because i only did maths in my first year but in my second year they did not allow me you need to have done it at least to your second year the requirement is you need to make sure that you have a diploma which is nqf level six they don't take um n6 um tvet certificate unfortunately it has to be 
um, a diploma, national diploma, and QF level six. And um, what is the other requirement? Or an or a degree, a QF level seven. When you enter the same person, the only people that they do, they do not allow is TVET um, diplomas. They don't take that. That's the requirement. Now we're done with this. <laughs> the technicalities comes my journey. I want to say it was the most frustrating time of my life mentally um, simply because also I was doing I was completing my degree as well my accounting degree so I did it both so it was very challenging academically but thinking about it even without it it was going to be tough because study of what they do and that's a sad part about how they do it you start your academic year very late like the study year so the pgc are on mid late march and they pile you with a lot of work and you have to be on your i don't know how to put it but you have to be on your feet like one thing i can advise you is when you have something due next week and you can do it today do it today because next week you have 10 things due and that's the thing study is very doable i remember in my may i had a mental breakdown and me having that mental breakdown i told my dad my problem is my study. it's not the fact that it's difficult it's not difficult at all trust me pgc is not difficult at all the most challenging thing you will do you you will experience is the workload the workload is crazy it's insane it, it does not make sense how they expect you to know so much at a short space of time and the thing is they use an argument of which is valid if you're working you advise to do um the part-time route because they know how intense it gets so if you're working my advice please do it part-time it's extremely difficult to get it face attempt full-time um because the work is just a lot like it, it's a lot i remember i had to leave the job that I was doing, I was doing at the time, which I'm grateful, because and then end of the day it paid off. I grad, I'm graduating with distinctions. I think it's cum laude, but I'm waiting for the graduations, which is in May, to get that confirmation. That even though it's not a cum laude, it's a lot of distinction. My average is seventy five percent, so I did very well. But in terms of mental wise, it was crazy, and yeah, tips I can give you. Oh, I already said one tip, work in advance. Like don't don't wait for things to be due. Secondly, attend your classes. One thing that I've learned late, especially with educational studies, um, lectures give you tips. And those lectures <laughs> are not to expect in exams. And I, I wasn't aware. When I got my exam at the end of the year, I was like, no, this lecture did say. The minute the lecture says, um, people usually struggle with this, we like this question note it down and the thing about a taste in exams it's not even exam we don't have exams oh we don't have exams in pgc by the way um <laughs> yeah it sounds like a cool thing but yeah it is a cool thing think about it because i remember uh, i was waiting for final taste i already knew that i passed before writing my final taste because what they do is a continuous assessment um, you have tests and quizzes here and there that count 5%, 2%, 10%, 3%, 10%, 10%, 10%. It's crazy. It's easy to, to fail, but it's also very easy to do extremely well because of continuous assessment. So if in a quiz you can get 5%, push to get the whole 5%, you might need that 5% later. For example, I remember we had to do presentation for EMS it counted 10%. You can easily do well and get the whole 100%. Guys, it's easy, it's possible to get 100% in that year. It, it's so possible if only you work on time. You literally, that's the only tricky thing. The only tricky thing about studio is can you work on time? I think this video I've been saying one thing, but if there's one thing I need you, I need to sink in, I need, to, I need it to sink in your head. This one, do your work on time. Do not procrastinate. You're gonna suffer. You are going to suffer if you procrastinate. Don't do that to yourself. Because the work gets hectic. Two. Um, what is the first one to do procrastinate? Two, buy textbooks. Um, I think a lot of people are on social media telling people that 
you can survive without textbooks by the way i already sold mine so this is not me bribing people to buy my textbook no i'm telling you guys because it worked for me i didn't use them much like to be honest with you i didn't use them much but i could have easily failed without them so buy your textbooks you're gonna need them i remember in occasional studies they, they had two essays that were from the textbook that we've never used during the year boom in the final year we have an essay questions that is that and it is the same thing you see all that the way they put the handle the heading there that's how i got in the textbooks and i think i forget this oh teaching practice one please 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 I wanna, i'm gonna do my best to post this video tomorrow <laughs> whether i like it or not because you need to get placement for your teaching day. Please, if you can go before the end of March, please go to a school, get them to send that placement letter for your teaching practice, and start. Um, you're gonna start your practicals in May. By the time you start your practicals in May, there's this crazy thing that you and I literally say it's crazy because it's insane why they would do that. During your teaching practices, you have more assignments to. And they don't care <laughs> literally you cannot say eh, i had i was doing with my practicals therefore i didn't have time for my uh, assignments no girl you're gonna fail <laughs> so make sure it goes back to what i've been saying throughout make sure you do your work on time so that when it gets time for your teaching practices um your workload is decreased for example i'm pretty sure you're gonna get your edsa um assignments before in the somewhere around april if you can do them in april please do them before me maybe may what you can do because you have lectures we are holding they will explain certain components of the assignments maybe you can go back and editing but that is better than starting from start because that's difficult that's one thing another tip when it comes to um, deferral of assignment dates that hardly happens very hardly happens like I said they give you your dates your assignments before a month or two months before and if you tell them that you got sick like late well the sickness if you got sick and you have proof you do you will get an extension but you cannot use silly reasons so you cannot say um i was overwhelmed with my practicals therefore i couldn't get couldn't do the assignments give me please give me more times give me more time they will wait you won't get more time my love <laughs> you won't do it um but at the same time as much as that sounds hectic that's how life is and if they gave you things exactly how you wanted it it's not gonna work um they're not prepared for your life but varsity in itself it's a place where they prepare you for life so i'm grateful that they do that actually people don't like that but yeah my experience with them also is studio for me was i had i didn't have any hassles my registration went very smooth because i registered on time my tp placement went very smooth because i did it on time um any inquiry that i have was answered because i think mo mo most people made the mistake of emailing with their personal email so therefore do you ever you hear a lot of people complaining about um studio admin people complain about that i am personally i've never experienced that and i inquired if i asked them to send me my academic record they will send it within 24 hours if i asked them to send me my pro statement they will send it if like anything that i wanted from that mean really they were on their feet about it so personally i've never experienced any admin issue even with my registration everything went smoothly i remember in june um my registration kept on being delayed to be finalized but i was i was i kept on getting updates that i didn't ask so i never really struggled with admin admin for me really worked also when you are study or graduate you get 1000 shares so as a graduate i'm a shareholder in the study of higher institution <laughs> can't wait to get my share certificate oh wait i could be wrong I could be wrong i think it's 100 but i think it's 1000 it has one it has two zeros or three zeros that's one thing i know but you get shares as a graduate so yeah that's my journey with study hopefully i didn't forget anything there's something i wrote at the end that i think i forget I don't know so 
what I'm gonna say is if you guys have any more questions about the institution um, comment down below I'll do a second video if I wasn't clear on something comment down below I'll do a video again highly recommend that you in my personal opinion it's expensive but it's worth it um, I did it first attempt I did extremely well like I said I'm graduating the average of 27 25 Woo! 25 percent um, got distinctions mental breakdowns I went through the most during the year but i conquered like i really conquered okay one more tip one more tip before i end the video um please go through lectures video explaining an assignment before you do an assignment they do those things for a reason like literally they do those things for, and every time i did better on assignment i went back and i was like i should have listened to this because this thing clearly explains what they expect from the assignment um so please do that go like even if it's an hour take your time take notes make print your assignment and make highlights during um, on your assignment paper when the lecture is explaining they do those recordings for a reason like they do it for even test preparations they do them another thing that i need you guys to know is that because the pgc they expect you to know um prior knowledge of the subjects you want to teach and that thing's gonna count 25 percent of your assignment of your final marks right for example i was specializing in accounting so i was never taught anything um about accounting in grade 11 to 12. so what they did is um <coughs> What they did, I had taste to taste my accounting knowledge, but I was never taught that. So they won't teach you the material you're supposed to teach because they think they expect you to know it from your previous qualification. So you do cash flow statement, test about cash flow statement. You do test about journals. Basically, grade ten to twelve work. So it's advisable. That means I'm saying it's advisable to buy your textbooks because. You're gonna use them to prepare for this test. You're gonna you they make you buy grade 10, 11, and 12 textbooks, which you may not use during your practicals, um, but you will definitely need them to prepare for that test, which they don't teach you for in self-study because they expect you to know it all really basically. It counts 25%. It's easily to save yourself from a fail using that. Um, I remember at EMS, it was so straightforward, everything was there in a textbook, so buy that textbook. <laughs> buy it <laughs> i'm very serious guys buy textbooks okay also if you can please ask please borrow textbooks from your local schools like if you don't have money to buy textbooks during your practicals you can ask um books from the school that you're going to do your practicals with um just to study but the problem is i remember mean, ems and accounting text one we had it before our practicals but because you're going to the school right now in March, because you're going to do that, <laughs> when you go to the school, ask them for a textbook, just say to them that you want to prepare yourself for practicals, go through the materials. What my tutor did, my mental teacher did for me without even asking, the day I went in to ask for placement, they gave me textbooks, they even told me about it. The week you get here, we'll be teaching this unit, so come prepared for that. So also do that. Hopefully that answers all your questions. Um, if you have more, like I've been saying throughout this video, like a broken backward, comment down below and I'll definitely do a second video for you. Because like I said, I want to do what I wished somebody would have done for me at the time. Like, it's only because that year is a, it's a new thing. It's a new institution. Um, so it's very tricky to 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 just trust it like you just need somebody to say oh okay this is what you can expect this is what you're gonna do this you know you have good tips see what i wanna go be no i'm here to guide you how can i go be guys I'm, I'm i'm here to assist you um my comments will always be open i will answer all your questions on my comments thank you guys i know i did this video a bit tired but i had to force myself to do it because time was running out and I wanted to make sure that I release this before before you guys start with your semester. So yeah subscribe and watch more of my content because I bring so much content. <laughs> Bye guys.